Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related, it's Junkie Rock 13. My name is Ross Sanders. Today I'm bringing you a little tutorial on how to re-wick your Vision Ego uh, Clearomizer, also known as the Stardust. Uh, this is version two, so these ones are a little bit easier than the version one. Uh, these ones have the replaceable heads, so they're a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to get right into it and make sure you check out the other video because I'm running a contest on getting one of these and a Bowway clearomizer with some wick and wire so you can rebuild it yourself. So check it out. Here we go. Alrighty folks, so here we go. We're going to start get right into rebuilding this uh, wick and coil. So let me just pull this out a little bit. And I'm going to take a napkin in here. And the way to open this up is just hold the plastic part and by turning the knurled section down here. And taking this out, we're just going to put this out to the side. And here you go. There is the inside of the Ego Vision. What I'm going to do now is just hold this part and unscrew it. Oop. Set that down for a second. Okay. This is the replaceable head that you can buy to replace them. We're going to just take off this plastic silicone cap right here. Put that off to the side also. And now you'll notice there's your wick. Okay. And inside there, you can see the coil. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start off by pulling this little center pin right here. Get your fingers around it. There's a little metal center pin right there. A little rubber stopper. take that out. Now we can pull this whole section out. There you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this old Nasty wick. The wick. I'll take out the thin little piece here. It was just not even in the coil. But there you go. There's the coil. I'll just unwrap it to show you. I want quite a few wraps. I'm going to get it off. There you go. But I'm going to take that, put that off to the side. And the little cover that they use in there, I don't find any use of it. I'm going to put that off to the side. So, so now what we have left. is the parts of oh parts of the coil head that we're going to replace or that we're going to work with to rebuild so now i'm going to take in 
a piece of three millimeter silica wick and a piece of 32 gauge cantile wire. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this right in the center of the silica. Now a lot of people like to use um, pins or something. I just have I just usually wrap it just like this. What you're going to do is just wrap this all pretty close to each other. Once you get it wrapped, You're going to want to move them over with your fingernail. Okay, can you see that? So none of them are touching. Pull them right down straight. That's pretty much in the center. Now you're going to want to make sure that when you put this in, you stick right both of them down the center of the this piece right here yeah there you go once you get them down the center you just want to make sure that none of these coils are touching the side of the metal pieces here. One of them is. So what I'm going to do is just move it over a little bit. I'm going to try that one more time. Line it up. Now you got two pieces coming out the bottom. Okay. So what you're going to do with this piece right here, you're going to take one wire and put it through one end and put it through that rubber coating or that rubber ring there. And then you're going to just stick it in. So now you have one up against the metal body here and one coming out the center. Then you're going to take your other post, the little center post here, and you're going to stick that in there. So now you have two pieces of metal coming out. You're going to pull down on them, make sure that this is all the way down. Oh. 
and still not touching the metal ends there. So once you get that done, you're going to take this and push down on there and give it some turns. Make sure it's nice and flush in there. Push down on this little rubber o-ring in there. Give it a few turns. And that's in there. So there you go folks. The rebuilt coil for the Ego Clearomizer. Take this piece and just put it on the top. Now, what you want to do is take this. Oh, forgot the other piece. You could put this back on here. We want to make sure that this is the right length. So, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut these right here. So now just take it, push it in there, screw it on. And you're ready to fill the juice. Okay. Well, before that, let me just do one thing to make sure we have no shorts. Grab a battery. Plug it in. Grab some juice. Throw a couple drops on there. And just see if this is going to fire. Oh, I turned off my battery. I want to try to get you to see that. Okay, it's firing with no problems. Alrighty. So now we'll put this back on here. And we'll throw some juice in there. Top on and see if she vapes. Alrighty, let me show you back over there. Alrighty, so there you have it. Rebuilding the ego, the vision ego clearizer version two. Um, it's really not that hard. Uh, it works. Um, this one ohmed out on the Provari. It ohmed out at 2.4. Um, depending on the length of the uh, wire, it will ohm out at a different, different ohms. Um, I've had them in using different gauge wire also. I've had them go down to like 1.5. I've even built them up to 3.3, 3.4. So depending on what you're looking for if you want to use a different size uh, canthal different gauge you can get this working good but i like the three millimeter silica wick um, so if you are interested in doing this to these yourself please join my contest on the other video and 
enter to win. You can win one of these, a bottle way, clear miser, and some wick and wire. Um, that's all I have. Let me show you how this is vaping. This is on the uh, Eagle Twist set at 3, 3.8. Vape's great, flavor's great, wick's great. Um, give it a try. If you have one of these, don't throw them out. If you don't want to buy a new head, rebuild it. That's all I got. Keep vaping. Make sure you subscribe above and check out my link to the video so you can win the contest below. Keep vaping, everybody.